sharpening guitar picks. That's still a touch loud. Okay. Um, as you see, we have video options for all manner of resolutions, so you can pump it as far up or as far down as you need. Um, and the standard full screen, windowed full screen, and windowed modes. I hope you can still see. Yes, you can. Um, Desiah must have heard Deck Builder because he just woke up. I'm expecting Guildster to arrive at some point, but perhaps not. Um, so it does take place in seasons. Um, oh, hold on. Is this... Oh, interesting. It's... It's sort of... it. I don't know if you can consider this really... Um, okay, so you can sort of consider it to support um, controller, but it only uses the it only uses the thumbstick and the trigger. So we'll go ahead and do a mouse. Um, if my uh, if my wrist gets tired because they've been getting a little more tired lately, then I'll switch to something else less so. But we'll go ahead and use the mouse for this. Get my coffee on somewhere else so I can move this table over. I'm gonna turn it down because it's a little loud for me. Look, I can't even convert my mouse to Christianity. It is 100% atheist, so. More agnostic, I suppose. Um, so, it does have a season rank kind of option here. Um, so the more you get, uh, the more levels you get, the more stuff you get, and that's fine. Um, oops. And it suggested that we go through the tutorial, so that's good, and Looks like we have some challenges, and we have some decks. Uh, looks like a deck for guitar, bass, keyboard, and drums. Okay. These are like serious cards, too. Um, so these are these are some serious cards. We'll see if I'm in or out of my depth. You know, we'll see. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Um, oh, we can change our character? Nice. Okay, so let's quickly do this. lot of eye choices so we're gonna go with that bangs that's certainly a look there's a lot of options here okay I think we're gonna stick with that and noses? Uh, no, we're not just gonna go with nose. I know, it's, I think that's, I'm hoping that's my roadie. Oh, nice. We'll go with a bit of buzz. We gotta have a no Colonel Sanders. No. 
sideburns. Oh my god. Lumber Metro? Okay, sure. Why not? Uh. Ooh, corpse eyes, eye highlights, beauty mark. Can we match my lip color though? Oh, no, no helmet. Uh, Scrappy Stripes. Ooh, Tats and Cats? Sunday Threat now. Cozy Lumberjack. Hot Rod Tunic. Denim's at... Ooh. I kind of like Tats and Cats. Uh, can we get some... Purple? And green, like we're like we're the misfits. Okay, we're gonna go with guitar. Um hold on, what was the tunic? Oh, that is cute. That is cute. I really kinda like that, but we're gonna go with tats and cats. Um, and we're gonna save it as. Sorry, my keyboard's a little broken. Okay, uh, save and close. And let's try the tutorial. <clears throat> Alright. Um, but thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Alright, welcome to Battle Bands. In this tutorial, you'll learn the basics required to get up and running with your band. Let's go! Oh, we're not even in the tutorial. Darn it. Every Battle Bands match is between two bands. This is your band. We look awesome. Am I blocking anything? Eh, not really. Behind me, oh, sorry. Behind me right now in this screen are just the settings, so we'll see if I'm blocking too much stuff. This is the opposing band. Every band has a guitarist, drummer, bassist, and keyboardist, each with their own unique deck. Eh, they look cool, I guess. In your head are two bands. <laughs> in each band, in each match, the bands play cards to generate height. The first band to reach the goal height wins. Okay, so hype is played Hype is gained by playing performance cards like this one. So we're looking for the um, cool, cool. Most cards cost energy to play. Each bandmate has their own energy. When your energy is gone, you can only play cards with zero cost. All performance cards must be played on top of a song section card. Let's try it. Okay. Double click the spicy verse song to the spicy verse card to play it. Ooh, a spicy verse. This will start a song selection. Okay. Um, hey Avercom. Hey Matt and Sandals. Hi. Right. Uh, your band now has an active song section. Now play a performance card to generate some hype. Okay, so we can play a loud riff or a quick riff. So we're gonna play the loud riff. Okay, and our hype is tracked until the end of our turn. So your band's hype this turn is below the meter. It will be added to the meter at the end of your turn. Okay. Oops, you're out of energy. Fortunately, it isn't all up to you. You're in a band. Okay, so the bass player came through the performance card. This has also completed the song section. What does that mean? <clears throat> Okay, so when you play a song section, it has a capacity of multiple cards on it, indicated by the card deck. Okay, so playing the song section, I can play two cards on top of it, and it goes. Okay. As a bonus for completing a song section, you generate additional height. 
Okay, we're going to need another song section to play more performance cards this turn. Does anyone have a song section? Great. The keyboard player came through with a hook, and it looks like that can handle three cards. All right. The jazzy hook song section has capacity for two more performance cards, but we don't have energy left to play our quick riffs. So I'm out. So this is interesting. I'm technically, it looks like I'm controlling one of the characters, but the others are AI controlled. So I'm wondering if in, a ba in an actual battle, if the AI is going to control the other players. So I just pick one, which is 100% fine. Um, so some cards have special abilities. The drummer played a card that gives you extra energy. Well, that was a random bandmate, but only one could take an extra card, so okay. All right. Okay, so once everyone in your band is done playing cards, it's time to end your turn. And it looks like everybody is out. And this is showing me when I when I mouse over, it's showing me the cards in their hand, the cards in their graveyard looks like. And I'm guessing the trash can means those cards are exiled from the round. Exhausted. Yeah. Okay. It's 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 like complex but not. Okay. At the every at the end of every turn you muck cards in your hand and then draw fresh cards from the draw pile. All right. And we got 13 hype for our for our round. So, It's the other band's turn. Let's see how they do. Uh, yeah, strategy, cards of variable stats and values, and teamwork. So it's like, oh, something new. Crew are special cards that stick around through the match. You have an acquaintance, play it now. Okay, so the crew costs no money but it does get exhausted, so we can only play it once. Uh, while in play, plus one bands hype every two turns. Um. I'm not sure how to play it. I'm gonna turn this up just a little bit. Uh, yes, I see the ability description. But I'm not sure how to play the card. Hmm. That might be a little bit broken. Let's try playing an act. Oh, there it is. Okay, found it. <clears throat> okay, so this is sort of an always on status card that is exhausted at the end of the, the match, I'm guessing. Um, but it will give us plus one band type every two turns. So it is a little straightforward. Uh, not the Dark Souls helmet. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> um, okay, so I've got two energy. We're going to play a sick riff. And what's interesting is I'm playing cards, but everybody in the band is also playing cards. So this is like... It's like that... It's like that episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! when they had to duel as a team... And everybody's affecting everyone else's cards, but also everyone's affected by, you know, by winning or losing. But you're a band. That's the point. Um, I'm wondering what the defense is here, what that's about. Um, not a fan of the name of that the name of that card, but you have to deal with a lot of that s not blue eyes, white strips, stripes. Oh no, blue eyes, white stripes.
was gonna say is my is my trap card like a seven nation army. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I have one energy left, but I have plenty of zero energy cards, so we're going to play Speed Riff. And it looks like the Brilliant Bridge can handle five cards, so we can play another card. Okay, and the keyboard opened up yet another one, so another song section. So I'm going to play my last speed riff, because these are all costing me zero energy. And there are times when your best option is to give energy to a bandmate. Right now, you have no cards, but you do have one energy. Use the give button to pass energy to a bandmate. That's cool. Um, Let's give it to the Dark Souls drummer. Hey, Malam. Good morning. Hey, B. Your bandmate played a Hurl Insults card. This card doesn't give your band hype, but it does reduce the other band's hype. Okay. And here's where protection comes in. Protection shields your band from negative effects. Your bandmate played a card that provides protection. Just, you know, always use protection of some form or another. It's good. Okay, I want to look at these cards, though. So this is the Hurl Insults. Um, Hurl Insults, common performance card. Love that. And this is... I love that it's tomatoes against a shield. Um, all right, so we end our turn. We generated a lot of hype. <clears throat> okay, so they played a Hurl Insults card, but Protection saved us. you have drawn a power cord. This will disrupt the other band while generating hype for your band. Oh my gosh, so when we play this card, the other band can no longer um, can no longer add to their song section. Now it doesn't really matter because they can only add one card to their song section, but it still is an interesting cool thing. So power cord. Okay, so now they can't do anything. But I really like that everybody in the band is adding the cards as you go. Uh, this will be interesting to play with folks. Uh, because all four of you would basically be playing playing a deck builder together, but all of you adding your things on to each other. Um, okay. I've got energy, but there's no song selection. And uh, do I, I don't have, like if I try playing this, there's no song section active. So I don't have a song section active, so I can't do much of anything. I'm gonna try giving, I'm gonna try on the off chance that my, that my bassist has something. The bassist had a card. So, now... Hey, Esoterica, good morning. Uh, now, I can go ahead and add a speed riff. And now I end my turn. End your turn. Unend turn. Okay, so we disrupted the other band's song. So now they're starting a new song section. They're throwing down their licks. They're trying to break our stuff. Loud keys, like it. Um, hey, witchy woman.
it's very cute. We're also, our na the name of our band is Thunder Panic, and the name of theirs is Cuddle Muffin. I mean, Thunder Panic versus Cuddle Muffin. Oh, we only need one more. Okay. Um, the other thing is everyone's playing at the same time, so while I'm reading the tutorial and wasting time, um, <laughs> every, uh, while, I'm, while I'm wasting time, everybody else is basically winning this battle for us. Um, playing cards allows them to be upgraded. Upgrades have various benefits and last a whole run. So the more you play a card, the more you play a card, it continues to upgrade. Okay, so we're pretty much done at this point. Um, but we'll go ahead and play our speed riff. Uh... A sick riff. And we'll play a new song section. We're basically we're basically overachieving here. I'm gonna add my loud riff. And then I'm gonna give the keyboardist some energy. The keyboardist played more. So at the end of our turn, we're gonna have 25 energy, 25 height, and we're gonna win them win the battle. You have earned enough hype to win the match, however, your band went first, so the other band gets one more turn to catch up. You got one more turn, can you do it? They might be able to do it. I'm rooting for you, Cuddle Muffin. Come on, Cuddle Muffin. Okay, we won. Um, what I did find interesting is that if they were able to... I wonder if they were able to get our score down below 70 if it would go back to us and we wouldn't win again. Um, nicely played. You're now ready to get out there, start a band, and take on the world. I'm ready. Okay, so we did create a character. So let's go ahead and try playing a match. Um... Ooh, Portal 2. I've never played the Portal games. Never. And I should probably look into them. Um, I also really like the art. Like, the pizza the pizza place in the background. It looks like there's a zombie on the pole. Or maybe that's just a fan. Um, so let's play. Okay, so. Here's the interesting thing. There is a tour mode. So you jump in your band and you battle your way through Rift City in a one to four player roguelike campaign. So wireless riot, I don't want to hear it. And uh, there's Royale mode, where you actually face off against other bands in an online tournament. Which is cool. If if you and three friends are playing this, like, that's kind of cool. Uh, we're going to go through tour mode. I see portal references in chat. I see portal references in chat. I'm going to have to listen to that whole song at some point. Um, so we're going to go to the tour mode and do the 1-4 to four player roguelike campaign. Um, you just wait. I'm going to find us a cooking game that is a roguelike, and you're going to be very torn. Or a super cute cozy game that's also a roguelike, and you're going to be like, ah, ah. So, you can start a band by recruiting friends, or finding friends, or teaming up with bots. I'm going to go with bots right now. And uh, you can also join a band. So maybe somebody out there has an online band that they're looking for someone to join. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start a band. Oh, what's our band name? Ooh, what's our band name? Um, oh, the Corporation game, Going Under, which is still available on Game Pass. I was playing that Xbox Game Pass. The Bohemians. Hmm. Oh, oh, wait. I uh, Okay, let's see if I can fit this.
Bohemian Thrash City. Because it feels more of a rock band kind of thing. I was going to go with Bohemian Rap City, but Bohemian Thrash City sounds like, you know... Um... <laughs> okay. So, uh, we can see that these are robots. Um, we can also change the outfit preset. I kind of like the way everyone looks. But over here are my Steam friends, so I can invite my Steam friends if any of them happen to be playing this game. My game is open to the public. I'm going to change that. So my game is no longer open to the public. Um, Pat, you talked about... You talked about decorating the van, so let's get the van back together. Party Stripes, Fly Racers, Stripe Torino, Sonic Grooves. Perfect. Come on. Come on. Okay, so obviously, obviously perfect. Uh, main color... I'm gonna go with purple effect. Ooh, yes. Okay, and the punch color, that's the only thing the punch color is changing is the hat. We gotta give our we gotta give our, our cat a magic hat. Okay, so that's our band. And if we wanted to, we could change the look of every of, of our bandmates, but we're not gonna worry about that. Um, there is oh okay. So if I was playing with online players, I have options for reactions. If I really really wanted to. Um, If you're setting up with people, you can let them know what you what you prefer to play. But for now, we're going to go with the guitarist. And, uh, yeah, let's go. Let's, we're ready. So the, the roguelike story tour may have a story behind it, but mostly it's going to be playing AI bands and, um, and proceeding that way. So, yeah. Okay, middle click your energy to notify bandmates when you have extra. Oh, oh. Okay, so a Riff Radio interview. Hey, hey, headbangers! Welcome back to Riff Radio. We're here in the studio with Riff City's newest band, Bohemian Thrash City. So, what sets you apart from the competition? So our answer will actually give us a starting bonus. Uh, we have nice stuff is get a random gear for the tour. We're quick learners. We gain a card. Each band member gains one card. And we're overconfident. So we get max morale and three hearts. We're going to go nice stuff. We have nice stuff. Um, all right. I'm in charge. So... There a question? Ah, okay. Here's here's our um, here's our legend for the map. So money can buy new gear and cards at the shop. An encounter. If anyone's played a deck building a deck building roguelite, you'll recognize similar things here. Um, uh, so the hype is an encounter. Uh, a random event is the question mark. That's a moment. We have a shop for gear and cards. Uh, we have Dr. Pizza for running low on morale and the final match. So looks like we can go a lot of different ways. Also, morale. Okay, so that's why you want morale. Uh, morale is moving one space costs morale. If you run out of morale, your run will end. You can gain morale by winning matches, but if you lose the match, you also lose morale. And your tour level. 
Your tour level increases as you win matches. With each tour level, your opponents gain new cards and learn new strategies. But your odds of finding higher tier cards also increases with each tour level. So the better we do, the better everyone that we're facing is. And, uh... Okay. So we're here. I guess we should probably... I want to know what the random moments are. <laughs> yeah, winning is good. Let's let's just start with an encounter. Oh, we don't have to. Yeah, we're gonna do an encounter. Um. Okay, so, uh, choose one new card. Uh, really appreciate... Oh, so we get money if we skip this. Okay, we're gonna go with... So we're, we're actually choosing a new card for each of our bandmates. And we're gonna go with this one. We're gonna go with a lot more defense. Actually, that's a free... That's zero, zero energy. And we'll go with the jazzy motif. Think about damn jazzy hands. Hey, Tanya, good morning. Oh, the coin ops. We're in the hype zone, y'all. Um, and we are playing against the coin ops. So this battle of the band is in an arcade. Um, and I do have a timer. So I've, I've got to basically make my, I've got to make my moves as well. Okay, so I can't do anything more unless someone gives me energy, so I'm going to end my turn. Oh my gosh, look at these, though. The punch kicker, the bobble bubble, and the clip. Look at this band we're fighting. Now, they have an NPC crew. All bands' cards receive plus three. Oh... So, and their cards are amazing. Uh, okay, we're gonna go with a well-practiced chorus and get some defense. Uh, do I have anything I've played yet? No, we're gonna go with more hype. And I am ending my turn. So this is my band. Bohemian Thrash City. We are fighting the Coin Ops. And it looks like everyone's out? Okay. So, I'm glad the tutorial moved quickly. We have to, I have to discard a card? Uh, crap. Alright, I guess I'll discard that. Um, what I don't like about the timer is that we went from tutorial to immediately being like, wait, what? Um, so it's not, it's not giving us a, like a, hey, you've got to do this or you've got to do that kind of thing. Um, we're still going to kick their butt, you know. Okay, I'm going to give energy because I, unless, okay, I can play that. Oh, does no one have anything? Uh, let me give energy to uh, the keyboardist. Keyboardist had some more energy. Okay. I think we win.
So I think the only thing I would do that I would adjust is the speed. Um, I realize that this is technically an online battle. Technically. Um, but since I'm actually playing by myself, it would be nice to have these cards go a little bit slower so I could see what they were actually doing because I'm getting hit with like debuffs, AKA they play a card that means I have to discard a card, but it's going so quickly that I can't see it. Hey JD, good morning. Um, so that is interesting to me. Um, is that, hold on, what is that up there? We're going to see what this moment is, because I'm not sure. This is going to be like something. Uh, it's a random encounter of some kind. <laughs> a man at the crossroads with an unbelievable deal. Accept his offer, and we lose two max morale, but each band member gets one unnatural skills. Ooh. Unnatural skills gains seven hype. Costs one energy, so that's pretty good. But it purge, so I'm not sure what purge means. Does purge mean that you that you purge a card or that they have to purge a card? I don't know, but it's seven hype. We might have to take this deal. Okay, let's see if we can look at our deck. Okay, unnatural skills. No, nope, come here. No, it's not telling us what purge does, so that's interesting. And also, okay. Um, so that was the hype zone. Uh, I guess... We could go face the final boss, but why don't we try... Let's try heading over towards Dr. Pizza first. So let's go with one more battle. Um, that was a crossroads. Shadowy figure hanging out. Unnatural skill. Hey, kid. Hey, kid. You want to buy some skills? Just some skills. That's all. Mighty Mer, good morning. Hello. Um, and I hope everyone's doing well this Saturday morning. I overslept. So I am doing my best to recover from that. Uh, we're playing Battle Bands, which is currently on Steam and Early Access. Uh, exclamation point battle, if you want some information about the game. It is a deck builder. And uh, it is a essentially a rock band based deck builder. The rules so far are pretty easy in terms of how most card building games go. Uh, I am playing in the roguelike, roguelike kind of campaign. So this, <laughs> thank you, Tanya. <laughs> this is the, um, this is similar to, I would say like similar to Slay the Spire where you're going and you know, you have encounters and you have random events and you have shops. Uh, this is like that. I would say right now, because technically this is an online, it, it's technically online. So I'm using bots for my for my bandmates, but you can team up with other people. Like my Steam friends showed up on the list, except for those who are offline. And the battles move a little quickly for my taste. I would love the ability to slow those down so I could see because the cart the ones that we played at the hype zone. Actually, can we just click on it and see what it was? No, um, it was a video game themed band. All of their cards were video game themed. There were a lot of good jokes in their cards, but the game was going so fast, I couldn't see the jokes. And that is something that I would have appreciated is if we if we just had a bit of a slowdown. Um, but because you are technically playing online, the game has a timer. So it would assume that you're playing online with other people and they don't want to wait for you to read all the stuff. Um, so we'll go with another battle to ban, bands. Battle. Battle bands. Battle bands! Hey! Exclamation point battle. Okay. And we have a timer up top in which to pick three... to pick more cards. Um, 
We're gonna go with uh on on band on play, band draws two. Okay, so this removes one other band's crew cards. This is a big hype, but the card itself becomes exhausted. Uh, distracting dancing. On play, random opponent discards one random card. Well, yeah. Distracting dancing, baby. So this is our band, Bohemian Thrashity versus the Riff Rats. Um, hey, Malam, thank you very much. Okay, so... Okay, I'm out of energy, so I'm going to end my turn. Unless somebody gives me energy, I'm going to end my turn. There's nothing I can do, but I can. Just in case someone gives me energy or I have another card to play, I can unend my turn, which I do like. Okay, like, look at their cards. Their cards are really cute, but they're going so fast that... So I would definitely say, like, this needs to be treasured more. Or maybe later on we can look at all the cards that have been played against us, because that would be cool. But yeah, I'm feeling a little bit... Not super, but a little bit like, uh, I gotta hurry up. Okay, I got nothing. They put, they put a junk card in my hand. Interesting. I don't have to play it, though. I'm going to end my turn and not play this, not play this card and see what happens. Because it gains no hype, so I'm not giving them anything. How dare they? We've almost won. Okay, so now we have to exhaust a card. I'm going to exhaust the catchy chorus. Okay, so here's the family. While in play, plus one band for hype for every card exhausted by everyone. So if they can make me exhaust cards, they get hype. Um, so yeah, similar to um, similar to other card games, it's basically a junk card you have in your hand, and you're hoping for a chance to get rid of it or be forced to get rid of it, but that may not be an option depending on your current hand. Um, I think we're going to win. Um, at this point, it's just adding insult. They're doing really well, though. Um, dumpster Bridge. See, like, their cards are really funny. I'm going to just double check. 
so we won. We got some morale and we got some money. Um, we get to upgrade a card. Okay, so. Interesting. So we can do the same thing with no energy, which we like. Uh, it gets more hype and can have more cards on it, but it exhausts it, so it can't be played again. Or retain. I think I'm just going to use this and say uh, it'll cost zero. Um, but that's upgrading a card. The longer, the more times you play a card, it upgrades throughout the match, and then you pick its upgrade when you're done. Um, okay, we're doing pretty well, actually, on morale. So... Uh, we're going to go to another battle. Yeah, let's actually do this. And we don't have to fight everything we encounter. I'm really curious what this is. This is the store. Okay, so we actually can drive and lose morale, but we don't have to stop and, and battle every single time. Um, sorry about the mess. I'm stuck training the new guy. Okay, so this is looks like gear as well as buying cards. So Band draws one card for every quick riff, quick lick, quick beat, quick keys card played. Oh, and we can suggest it to um, we can suggest it to whoever we're playing with. Hmm. We're gonna go by a reverb pedal. And so I realized this is gear that we already have, and that was what we chose at the beginning is to buy gear. So we have big fuzzy dice. So our band starts all of our shows with eight with eight hype already. So da -da. Uh, we'll do that and then we will I like buying gear because it's like a permanent passive bonus. So we're gonna increase our draw turn draw card draw wait per turn draw card. That is a weird phrasing. Per turn card draw count by one. So we'll draw one extra card per turn. Okay. Um, so let's go back and battle. <clears throat> okay, so we get to choose some new cards. Hmm... I'm gonna go with a power cord for yeah, power cord for the base. If we complete this, ooh, on play minus two hype for the other band, yes. Common performance, so any okay, so we'll do that, and I think we will do another. Pearl insults. Okay, where are we? Not the goo fighters. Goo fighters. Ogima, hello. Welcome on in. Okay, I'm out of energy, so I'm going to end my turn and wait and see what else happens. Um, so we can give them a negative value of height. So I can see the cards they're playing. Viscous Verse, Oozing Lip, Lick, Plip, Plop. Belch. That's not good. Oh, what are they doing? Gr 
grimy riff. turn. They're a little bit tougher than the last one. And they've given us, they, they basically, they're, they're giving me crap. I don't like this. They're filling my hand with like a bunch of gunk, which not a fan, but they're playing a gloopy groove, which I gotta, I gotta respect that. Do you think as small slimes they played with goo goo dolls? Yeah, I am out of I am out of energy. So I'm gonna end my turn. Uh, this one's gonna be actually I think this one's gonna be kind of tough. Cause they are filling my hand. Uh they are filling my hand with uh with crap, essentially. Oh no, not the not the Google gangers. Gugon would clean up their act. It would. It would. Not Dave Gr uh, j I... I'm just here to play the game now, apparently. That's... Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna drink my coffee. Y'all are a mess. All right, we're gonna go with a quick riff, speed riff, a loud riff. I got no NOG, so I can't do anything. What I like is they just have they just have um like as a band they have seven energy so that's all their energy we have eight but it's not individual so they're all like one big character um, which is very interesting. Uh, so this is on Steam. Uh, you can get this on Steam and if you'd like information about it, it's currently in early access. Um, it's currently in early access, and I asked Sandbox Strategies for a copy of the game because I wanted to give it a try. Uh, no one else has anything else to play. Uh, we're probably gonna win, but it's it's gonna be it's gonna be sticky. Eh. Eh? Oh, they're doing really well on this turn. Oh, crap. So, yeah, it's that Belch card. Plus one Sticky Coops to each opposing man member's draw pile. So, that's the thing that's giving me all of those cards that are useless to me. Oh, shit. They're coming back very quickly, but they're out of energy. Thank goodness. However, since we went first, uh, since we went first, they get to go one more turn. Um, so we can win it on this turn, but that gives them a chance. It's it, it's definitely going to be a mess. Oh shoot, they got us with a minus 1 point so we can't win yet. Oh. 
Or maybe we can. It seems like the target keeps changing. Uh-oh. We haven't won yet. We have to get one more point. So well played. We were we were in the lead, but then they got us with a minus one height, and that took us back below the total we needed to win. So they might get us because they we went first. So if we go first, they have one more turn at the end of everything to kind of wrap it up. So they may beat us. Um, now they have to get uh, 13 points. Well, they're going to kick our butt. Oh, they're... Oh, oh. Oh. We are going to get trounced by the goo fighters, y'all. Um, so the game did say that when you rank up as a team, you can, you basically, you get access to better cards, but then when you rank up as a, on your tour level, everyone else ranks up as well. So that's the, uh, um, but we've been playing things enough to choose an upgrade so we can, we can essentially make it mean, and that is minus one for the other band. Um... We can do a quick. You discard one card, you draw one. Okay, so this will be good if we need to get rid of something in our hand. So we're going to go Forgettable Head Shake. <clears throat> um, and you'll notice that they've got Signal the Bouncer, but then the adjectives they use kind of tell you what it's going to do. So by playing this branded Signal the Bouncer, it gets us 10 money at the end of the at the end of the game. This one. Hmm. We're gonna go with the bouncer that actually also generates hype. Okay, this is interesting. Building quick beat. So when you play it, it's plus one hype for each quick beat in your active song selection. So we're gonna go with this because it's sort of a builder card. There's a lot of cards to upgrade, and the timer is running down, so uh, I'm not going to pay attention to the timer, because what's it going to do? Meh. Um, let's see. A happy sick beat gets us money, so we're going to go to that. We're going to do some defense. Okay. Hurling insults. We're gonna make it even more mean. It's gonna it's gonna knock down two hype every time we throw this out. Okay, so that costs that costs uh, money to play it, but it doesn't generate it does generate hype. Uh. We're going to go ahead and go Pleasant Keys on draw plus one height for band. And now, uh, it's going to generate more hype, but the minute you play it, it's going to exhaust itself. Okay. I think we'll go with the save quick riff. I have a lot of cards to upgrade. Uh, this lets you put way more cards on it. This one costs nothing. This one adds defense. So we're going to add defense. This one adds money. So we'll add money. Oof, okay. <clears throat> so here's the deal. 
we are we are nearly out of morale uh, we will not be able to travel um, so we're gonna have to go to something okay we're at so if we run out of morale um, we are we're done with the tour and our tour is at level three which means that things are going to get harder uh, okay, the smell of brimstone and books. A small old man offers you an old book you can't read. Now, if we had enough money, we could buy it, and that would get us uh, the Necromicon. A. Oh, we don't have enough money to buy it. So. There's a 95% chance that we'll get one morale. There's a 5% chance that we'll lose one morale. Um, but we can't afford to buy this strange book because we only have three money. So we're going to say no thanks and hope that we get a morale out of it. Hey, we got one morale. Um, I'm kind of mad because I, I would love to know what... Uh, I would have loved to known what the, necronomic, what the necro, ne Necromicon does... But that's okay. Um, okay, so this may be our last fight. Because Dr. Pizza's right there if we can get to it. But we also have to earn some money. Otherwise, it's kind of pointless. Um, but we'll see how far we get. And um, this might end at just the right time for me to also try Tunic. Um, okay, so. Um, we're going to try a Power Cord. Wealth run sticks just in case they have just in case they have a crew member. Ooh, instrumental jam. Mmm. Okay. Oh dear. Okay, we just got Borderlands on us here in a minute. Okay. Okay, I'm out, so I'm going to end my turn. It appears that I always go first, yes, this this time. Um, but I am playing like the the essentially the the roguelite version of this. Oh, I've got another one. Uh, say a quick riff. <clears throat> okay, so now everyone's out of energy. But I imagine that if you were playing, um, if you're playing with others online against other people, you might not always go first. I do like the style of it. Um, the style's very funny. Oh no, they didn't play anything. They just... Ooh, while in play, plus... Oh. Um. Okay, everyone's out of energy. I feel like the Scrap Titan is doing... is building up their resources very slowly and I'm afraid they're gonna like hit us with a haymaker um it's interesting they're playing all these glitch cards and the fact is these glitch cards will be in their graveyard and I'm willing to bet that they're gonna play something that affects the cards in their graveyard to bet that if they send all those cards to their trash they're gonna they're gonna play something that affects the number of cards they had in their in their uh, graveyard and there's nothing I can do about it because it's my first day
Or we may have just gotten really lucky. I'm not sure. Okay, so I've got nothing left. Take care, B, and I hope you have fun today. Oh, okay, wait. What was that? Each opposing band member discards one random card, plus one broken things to the top of each band member's card. Aha! So now they're sending us trash. But I think it might be too late. Okay, so we now have more than enough to win. So the question is, the Scrap Titan will get one more turn, and are they going to be able to take down our um, eight, oh, 18 points? You probably can't take 18 points away from us, but worth a shot. We win! Victory is mine. Um, all right, so. Uh, shout out to the band. Let's see here. We'll go with this one. This is a lot of cards to upgrade. We were playing them a lot. Uh, we'll go with more monies. Um, I don't have a pop-up on what happens with the other things, so I think retain means it holds. Okay. One height, five. Yeah, we'll do this. song itself is five hype when you're done five yeah it only costs one yeah okay speed keys exploding speed keys okay explosives make everything better so um and we'll do on play give one to random bandmate being kind, I think, is yeah. Like it's basically being kind is like we're 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 doing the back. It's an interesting modifier word to use for that because really you're losing money when it says kind, and I'm like, are oh, uh, let's see, branded cool quick noodling. Okay, we'll do this explosions one more time. Distracting dancing with feeling makes them discard a card. Distracting dancing horde. So they'll discard two to two cards if I play distracting dancing. And we're going to go with the mean her actually no, branded hurl insults because we're going to hurl insults but it'll be like by Nike. Hey JD lady, happy time zone. Okay, so we have to morale, let's go to Dr. Pizza and see if we can get some more morale. Oof. Okay. Um, so we can get a free slice, so we don't have to pay anything to get the slice. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get our two. Let's get our free slice. Let's just do that. Um, 
Because we only need two moves to get to the boss. So one more random encounter. Okay. Lights and dark cloth. A clothing store. So for 30 bucks, we can buy new clothes, get, uh, get one morale, and get new threads. Or we can try stealing with the five finger discount. 65% chance of success, but if we get caught and fined, we lose a hundred bucks. It seems a lot easier to go ahead and buy the clothes for 30 for 30 monies. And we get new threads. <clears throat> so new threads means the band starts all shows with five hype. So we're gonna start with 13 hype. I know. It's the, the, the economy. What are you going to do? Um, hey, Rogan. Good morning. So this is, per the legend, the final match. This is the big boss. Let's try it and see what happens. We could go to these things and keep building up our decks and building up our power, but we'll try doing a short run. Um, warning. Challenging the final boss at any time will end your tour. Make sure you are prepared. Be prepared. All right. Cav! Oh my goodness. Uh, shoot. I wish that I had not done the thing. Um, I, I, uh, shoot. I will play this and then I will welcome you all in because welcome in, Cav. Uh, yes, the goose. Oh, the goose is fancy. The fancy goose. Very fancy goose. Um, and thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. A note from Pop. You got, okay, look, that's cute. Uh, quick noodling. Ooh, guitar crew. Okay, we don't have many crew cards, so hopefully we can play that. <gasps> Ooh. The final judgment. Ooh. Okay, this is 400 points, but we win 666 money. This is going to be possibly a long fight. Possibly. But I really, I do like the, I like the style. Um, oh god, you have Asmodeus and, oh, you have Demons. The Trickster's Melody, Light of the Morning Star. I think we know who we're playing here. Riff of the Malevolent. Oh god, we're we're basically playing the devil. But the devil's got style. Is all I can say. The devil also just got 49 points on one turn. Uh Yikes. Big yikes. Yeah. <laughs> hey dreams, thank you for the resub. I'm about to get my ass kicked by the devil. Um, looks like. So, yeah. Oh, whoops. I got some more energy. Okay. No, didn't end. Oh, I didn't want to end my turn. All right. Thank you for that, Tanya. Um, isn't that the guy who gave us the fuzzy dice? It might be. Yeah, we are. We are way in over our heads here, but that's what a final boss is supposed to be, no matter what level. The boss is not supposed to be, you know, easy. Ugh, fine, I'll get rid of you. Oh, no song section active. Okay, good, let's get rid of that card. Ooh. Light of the Morning Star. Oh, hold on, no. Uh, Light of the Morning Star. 
on on play each opposing band member exhausts one random card in hand and minus three hype it ends the song section yeah this is just this is just nasty this is just this is just mean is what this is like this is just mean <laughs> game was like i guess you thought you were doing well huh We got nothing. We are no, we are about we are getting our butt kicked so hard. I mean I shouldn't be surprised that Lucifer is basically the you know the rock band boss, but dang. So another strategy, which we probably should have employed, would have been to go around and do a lot more stuff on the uh, on the map, and just to try and build up our power, build up our deck, and learn about more card synergies and learn about more band synergies. But it always takes me a while to learn that stuff, so I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. I'm kidding. I'm not even disappointed. But yeah, we there's just we are just not coming through at all with enough. And that's it happens. Ooh. Yeah, this is just ugly. This this is just this is just disrespectful. He's just like he's taken our crew out. He st he stole our crew. What? No. Words of the snake. On play, steal one other band's crew cards. This is Nobody else has a song section, do they? No one else has a song section. Um, all right, I'm gonna give energy to, to not. Oh no. Okay, we're 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 yeah. It's hard to it's hard to ignore the fact that the style is on point though. Like if I'm gonna get if I'm gonna get trounced by a, a rock demon. There are worse ways to go. There are worse ways to go. Oh dear indeed. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh! I think they're gonna win? <laughs> Let's just... We've been defeated. Oh no. GG's! Shut up. All right. Wow, you really went for it. Maybe you'll get him on your next tour. Hey, and if you do step to him again, tell him I said, hey. That concludes Bohemian Thrashity's tour. Hey, I was reading that. Um. Oh, but we leveled up. And we've unlocked cards, so these cards will appear in future runs. Uh, so, not bad. You know, and that's uh, like one of the other points of a roguelike is to go back. Um, you know, one of the points of a roguelike is to go and then go again. You learn, you go again, you learn, you go again. Um, but Battle Bands is, it's fun. I would definitely need to play more times. 
Um, hey, Merry Mapleman. Um, I would definitely need to play more times to get it to get it down, Pat. I think. Um, and I will probably go and play again a little bit. But it's currently in early access. Uh, you can get it on Steam. I tried to leave the window, and my mouse said no. Um, but you can check it out on Steam. <clears throat> um, it's currently in early access. Uh, it does have online multiplayer, so you fr you and friends can get together and form a band, and you can go up against other people online, or you can multiplayer against that roguelike campaign. So you can all basically assemble your band and do that. Uh, there's also a store for things, which... Okay, that's a that's a fro. That's a fro. Um So and you can leave the band and things like that. Um and I agree. I, I think I might send him a note to say like the speed might need to be adjusted if you're just playing with by yourself. Or playing with yourself, which honestly it's a pandemic. I'm not gonna judge what you do. Um but yeah, so that's cool. Uh, let me let me exit that. 